NC Weather Lab. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back and welcome to the weekend. Beautiful weather today and it continues this weekend, although it will be warming up. John Lee getting our weather shot today with lots of sunshine, just a few high level cirrus clouds over the beautiful UL Lafayette uh, campus. It is homecoming weekend and we'll be talking the homecoming game and tailgating and all that is weather this weekend. In fact, have the UL game. We have festivals at Cadian at Creole. We have the gumbo cookoff in New Iberia the cattle festival in Abbeville, just a ton going on and probably more on your calendar as well. So let's kick it upstairs. Take a look to see what's going on and we're being dominated by high pressure right now, keeping showers at bay and well to the north of us and that's good news and with nearly clear skies, we have an excellent view of the International Space Station coming up this evening. Uh, keep your eyes peeled. Northwestern skies at 801. It passes right overhead roughly at 804 and about a minute later it will disappear behind the Earth's shadow. So as you're tracking it across the sky. It looks like a bright star. It'll be the brightest star in the sky. Plus, we have the crescent moon out there this evening. Jupiter near that crescent moon as well, and the other planets like Mars later on tonight. Uh, but look for the space station at about 803, 804 overhead at that time. Full details on KTC.com, and I've also posted that on my Facebook and Twitter feeds as well. Here are the readings this morning. 56 to the low and laugh yet. Most of us low to mid 50s, but we warmed up nicely this afternoon. 82 the actual uh, official high and we're just a couple of degrees off of that right now at 80 and Lafayette uh, light winds later on tonight, but not quite as cool as it was last night uh, based on what we're seeing on current trends. Now as we take a look at the satellite imagery, we have Michael uh, the remnant storm moving through the Canadian Maritime still producing heavy rainfall gusty winds. By the way, wind gusts with Michael were as high as 85 miles an hour up in the West Virginia and Virginia area through Maryland and Dallas. Delaware. That was incredible indeed. Sergio remnants here now in the southwest. That moisture earmarked for Texas, Oklahoma and eventually Arkansas this weekend. So that's the only action close to home. Uh, National Hurricane Center dropping its outlook area for the Caribbean. It looks like conditions will not be conducive for any kind of organized tropical development, although heavy rainfall across Central America and portions of Mexico over the next few days. There you have the Michael remnants. Leslie still a hurricane at 85 mile per hour winds and will threaten Portugal and Spain as a hurricane and then as a tropical storm, which is quite unusual. You can see that storm on the edge of our satellite imagery. We've got to be done talking about storms elsewhere around the world. And Nadine, a tropical storm barely holding on. That's going to dissipate this weekend. So nice and cool overnight tonight. Temperatures in the lower 60s, but as we head in tomorrow, it will be warming up courtesy of breezy south to southeast winds. Notice there's those Sergio rains across Texas, Oklahoma moving into Arkansas, but they stay away from us going into Sunday. The southerly winds freshen up. It gets a little bit breezier and more humid and notice the temperatures will be starting out in the low to mid 70s, but getting into the upper 80 Sunday afternoon. There's going to be a little bit of a heat index. Maybe a few spots hit 90, especially northern portions of Acadiana uh, uh, late Sunday afternoon. We'll have to wait and see on that. Keep our fingers crossed that we're done with the 90s. Notice this front right here. That's going to come down on Monday, late Monday, generate storms and notice snow up here across portions of the Rockies, uh, maybe snowy for the Denver game this Sunday, so that could be quite interesting to watch as well. Temperatures tonight dropping down nicely, upper 50s outlying areas to the north near 60 I-10 quarter and much the same the, uh, uh, across the coastal parishes. And then after that cool start, we uh, warm up into the mid 80s tomorrow and drop down upper 60s, lower 70s tomorrow night. And then we go into Sunday afternoon. Here's the upper 80s and where you see that red, there could be a few 90 degree readings as we go into Sunday afternoon. So Sunday certainly warm again. Another lovely evening, but not quite as cool. Crystal clear skies and that space station right around 8 o'clock tonight. Shortly thereafter, beautiful day tomorrow. Temperatures top out in the mid 80s with a nice breeze out of the south southeast. And as we look at your UL uh, uh, raging Cajun game against New Mexico State Aggies, we're looking at great tailgating weather. 
together. Do not forget a hat or the sunblock. Quite comfortable as the game finishes and hopefully a Cajun win with temperatures in the mid 70s at that time. Upper 80s as we indicated on Sunday. There's the rain chances for Monday. We'll say late in the day chance of storms at 60% and behind that front we may struggle to get out of the 60s for both Tuesday and Wednesday with lots of clouds and some lingering showers in the mix. All right.